So here we are at the uh, press conference uh, on, on Thursday. It's slightly different scenery here at Coach Road, um, with Maidstone obviously playing on an artificial surface. Has that changed the preparations at all? Uh, yeah, it's always, I think, important to to work on a AstroTurf pitch if you're just about to play on AstroTurf, just for the, for the players in the, the mental state. And I see the balls roll differently anyway on different AstroTurf. So, but... Um, at least, at least it makes the players feel like they've prepared properly because that's what they're going to be going to be playing on on Saturday. And uh, uh, you know, we, we we're pretty used to AstroTurf. So we, I know we went to Bromley and got beat, but um, it's uh, it's something we do, and so the boys are used to that anyway. If we look at the first four games, it could be argued the first two games um, were not created so many chances. Got the two results, though. The second two games actually look much more like a Gary Johnson side without the results. Is that um, frustrating at all? It's a, it's a, yeah, it's definitely frustrating because you want to win every game. But um, we certainly have had enough chances to win you know, more than two games. Um, and you know, the first two games, we gave the opposition too many chances. But... Uh, uh, you just have to keep going and hope that one of your strikers suddenly you know, gets a vein of goal-scoring form or a midfield player or even a centre-half from a set plays. Um, you know, we, we've, we've tried to uh, look at that and see what we, what we need to do, what we need to work on. Um, nearly all, a lot of our sessions are working on forward play and uh, forward intensity. Um, so some of the new lads will have to quickly... You know, pick up on on our tactics um, so that we create more chances if that's what we've got to do. Um, but we've we've got to score on our first or second chance. That gives you a chance in the game because the opposition has to come out and um, and we haven't we haven't been taking our first or second very good opportunity. Um, what do you do about that? You know, you just appeal to the player to make sure that the, uh, the next one goes in. It must be some consolation to see a side that creates so many chances against Bournemouth, though, because I'd yeah. imagine it's a lot more difficult if your side's not creating any chances at all. Exactly. Um, and you have to create... You, you don't get 10 chances and score 10. You know what I mean? So you have to create the, the right amount of chances to get a percentage of one or two if you do create 10, or 10 shots on target, they say, is normally uh, a goal. You, you know, deserve a, a goal, one in 10. But it uh, depends on where that shot is and so on and so forth. But, um, and we, you know, every we, the lads have had a good good week. Um, you know, we've had a few more days to, to recover. Um, have we? We didn't have a Tuesday game, did we? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, you all looked at me there as if... Uh, no, I thought I'd missed one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, and it just gives us that opportunity to, to put a little bit more work in when you're not um, two games <clears throat> before you know, we, we played on uh, Saturday. You know, we had two away games and you spend half the time on the, uh, on the coach and travelling. So we'll, we're going to try and sort of do some coaching sessions on the bus, if we can, in as much as that, you know, we're going to speak to individuals, we're going to talk to groups of individuals. We did do that for part last year. Um, so, you know, rather than play cards and watch films and things like that on occasions, but not, not the whole trip, but uh, we'll certainly be talking to them about their game, what they're trying to achieve, are they achieving it? In our opinion, yes, you are, or no, you're not. You need to do this. You need to do that, and uh, and maybe show them a, a little video or two on their game, and say this is how you could improve. So um, we'll, we'll get the lads in their units on the bus, and then for maybe an hour of the journey, we'll talk talk football to them, and then they can get back to their their films and uh, whatever it is else they watch. 
when your sides have kept clean sheets, and thankfully the defensive record has been excellent recently, you've always said that it's not just about the defence or the goalkeeper, yeah. it's a whole team. So I take it you're, you're, you're saying the similar sort of thing at the other end of the field. It's not just about the strikers getting on the score sheet, exactly. it's about, about the whole team taking their chance when it comes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, I did say to you after the game on Saturday that, you know, I asked them to put their hand up all those that had an opportunity. And uh, some had two hands up because they had two opportunities. Ali and Lax had two very good opportunities each and there was nine, nine opportunities so um, you want to create as many as you can as I say to try and get that two two goals you shouldn't really lose a game if you're organised I mean obviously people score against you more than two goals sometimes but um, and then you don't run the risk of a dodgy penalty or a dodgy decision or a ricochet or something you know they've got to be very lucky to get two bits of luck um, so, you know, we, we try to be organised, keep ourselves organised, but very committed in and around our own penalty area. And we've got to show that commitment at the other end as well. We're showing it in bits, um, but we need to show more. Uh, we were just saying then that you have had a rare free week. Um, the other end of the, the uh, coin, though, is, is that you've now got uh, two games in very quick succession. However, the plus side is obviously you get six points on that gaff. The league table's going to look very different, isn't it? <laughs> it will look different. Yeah, it'd be great. I mean, they're, they're, two, they're two games that, as you say, you know, if, you, if you can get maximum points, you're going to be up there in the top six or seven or whatever it is, top six or seven or top seven. Um, and that's where you want to be and you want to try and stay there. So every game's an opportunity and this is a, another one. It's still early days, but we've got to catch up. And that's why after 10 games, um, and I know people get fed up, maybe, I don't know, hearing it all the time. But that's when you've played a quarter of the teams and you, you pretty much know where your team are against those 10 teams and there'll be teams from at the end of the season it will be at the top, there'll be some that will be at the bottom. We don't know which ones they are yet. Um, and then that's when you can really show and say where, what you need to do. You might have to bring in more players, loan some players out to bring in those players, or stick with what you've got because they've recovered. Uh, but yeah, a couple of results would uh, do very nicely, thank you.